Bailey launched its Pegasus range back in 2010, expanded it to the 8 foot wide Grande in 2018 and for 2021 it became Pegasus Grande SE. The name suggests it's a special edition and to my mind those grey sides do set it apart from run of the mill touring caravans. The Pegasus profile keeps its clean lines at the front and the Bailey name in that front window. The Ancona is a 5 berth that features pretty flexible sleeping arrangements. More about this shortly. It's a single axle tour despite chunky wide body dimensions and it comes with Alco's AKS stabiliser hitch and trailer stability programme. It's also got a spare wheel slung underneath the caravan. There's a 100 watt solar panel as standard plus mains and barbecue points for real al fresco or awning living. And up front is Bailey's trademark vertical central window and its sunroof. There's no gas locker here though. The gas bottles are on the near side close to the axle for better stability on tow in Bailey's view. The battery locker is set into the exterior of the van in the floor of the kitchen area. There are side lockers to the near side front seat box and to the rear of the axle. The front lounge features a pair of facing sofas, a central chest, and it feels spacious thanks to that extra body width. To the rear, there's a separate L-shaped lounge, giving parents and kids their own space inside the caravan. There are separate tables for each of these two spaces, a freestanding table for the front lounge and a small table with a pulled leg for the rear lounge. Up front, built into the cabinet work, are the media player speakers. LED lighting beneath the overhead lockers is directional and each light comes with a USB charger at its base. Heating is courtesy of Truma's blown air system and chunky pleated blinds to the windows help insulate this space. The kitchen is well equipped with plenty of space for food preparation. All of the appliances are on the near side, that is a fridge freezer and a microwave oven that's thankfully positioned not too high. There's a full oven with dual fuel hob, a large stainless steel round sink and a branded splash bag. Main sockets and the Truma heater control panel are also located in the kitchen. The sink is a reasonable size and it's easy enough to get a kettle beneath that tap. The two overhead lockers here have integrated lighting underneath. At night time the front and rear lounge areas convert to sleeping quarters partitioned with a simple concertina blind. The front lounge can be used as two single beds, measuring 1.9 metres each, or they can convert to a double bed across the width of the caravan. The rear lounge also converts to a double bed for children who are still happy to share a double bed, plus there's a single fold-out bunk bed for a smaller child. There's a chest of drawers and further wardrobe space at the foot of the beds on the near side. The washroom is sited on the off side, alongside the wardrobe space. There's a dedicated shower cubicle with bifold door plus a basin alongside the toilet. There's a vanity unit too, and there's plenty of storage above and below the hand basin for toiletries and more. Storage is strong throughout the whole van in fact, with room below the near side front sofa, and storage across the full width of the van at the rear, which can be accessed from lockers on either side of the van. To sum up, with a maximum weight of 1600 kilos, you'll need something at least Kia Sportage size to tow this Pegasus Grande SE Ancona. It's a well-appointed and luxuriously proportioned caravan in every way, and it's a great van for a growing family.